Hello, I'm Dr. Ron Cook, and I just wanted to follow up with you about the swine flu outbreak and give you an update as well. You may have heard that the swine flu in cases are increasing here in the state and across the nation, and many school districts have closed as well. We want to assure you that Texas Tech is on top of this, and your well-being is our first priority. We have teams in place. We're working with state, local, and federal officials, making plans to assure your safety and well-being. I just want to also remind you again that if you are sick, you should first call your primary care physician or your health care provider and talk to them. Those individuals, those providers, are very well informed and should be receiving daily emails about how to treat and contain this swine flu. I want to go over with you some of those things that you should be doing if you get sick. First of all, if you're sick, call your health care provider. We want you to avoid that close contact with individuals. Respiratory droplets, when people cough and sneeze, don't travel very far. So you should stay no closer than six feet to an individual that's sick. If you're sick, please stay home. Call in sick and call work. Let those people know what's going on with you. Cover your mouth and nose when you sneeze. Make sure you use a Kleenex. Throw that away when you're done with it. Wash your hands frequently. Either use soap and water or use those alcohol-based hand sanitizers. Avoid touching your mouth, your eyes, your face. These respiratory droplets can transmit the virus that way as well. Practice other good health techniques. Get plenty of rest, plenty of fluids, and plenty of calories. If you need to take any medicine like over-the-counter medicines, those are safe for cough and cold medicines, I would avoid those aspirin-containing products. If you want to take ibuprofen or Tylenol, a leave, those things are all okay. Again, isolate yourself from those other individuals, wash your hands, and call your health care provider. If you need more information, go to www.ttu.edu slash swine flu.